Hello, friends. Some reason this is not showing up. Hey, I hope did you guys get notification that I was coming on? I have had the technical difficulties tonight. <laughs> Here I am. I made it at nine o'clock. I was trying to post a video at eight but that was not happening so um i'm so glad you guys somehow showed up here let me know in the comments did you get a notification that i went live because i'm not even showing up on my own like so weird maybe it takes a little bit but let me know did you get a notification yes okay very good. All right, so we're almost at nine o'clock. Good, good. Just notified just now. Good. I just hit the go live button. Like I said, if you're just hopping on, I taught a Magnolia class at my mom's tonight. Thankfully, she only lives about a mile away because I got, I had this video all pre-recorded, what I'm going to share with you tonight. Went to upload it tonight or this afternoon and... Something was not happening. So I'm glad you guys got notified because what I'm going to share with you is easy to repeat. So no worries. Then I'm going to go back over to her house and clean up from the class. Um, also, while we're waiting uh, till it's nine o'clock, just one more minute. Um, if you did not know, or maybe you forgot, I am starting a Mystery Hostess Facebook Magnolia class. So we sh we're starting tomorrow. So since this is live, I can't add anything right now to the description box. But when I'm done, I will put the link there if you want to be part of that Mystery Hostess Magnolia class. We're starting tomorrow, Friday, June 24th. And um, I'm going to share some information about Magnolia. Some of it maybe you've heard before. Um, I'm going to talk about how the mystery hostess will work. Talk about if you want to be part of the Zoom craft with me um, in two Fridays, then you're going to want to get a project ordered. And um, every $35 order that you place gets your name in the drawing for all of the hostess rewards. So. I'll talk more about it in the class, but um, be sure, let me know in the comments when this video is done, put uh, class or Facebook class info or something like that. And I will also add it to the description box of this video. All right. It's nine o'clock here in Georgia. Yep. We're on the same Eastern time zone. So what I'm going to talk to you about tonight real briefly. It's not going to take super long. As you can see from the title of this video, this is a craft my stash challenge. So how this works, it's a little bit of a giveaway for you guys too. You literally have 24 hours. So my comments are going to close on this drawing tomorrow night at 9 p.m. So Friday, June 24th, 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to choose three comments. What are you going to comment? I'm going to show you 31 craft items that are in my stash. Your comment, you are going to choose three of those that you want to see me make something with. Okay. I will randomly choose three comments. Those three people will see me use those items in this coming Sunday's video. Yes, I will be crafting like crazy on Saturday, but that's okay. And then you will also get a crafty surprise box from me in the mail. So everybody good with that? Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited. 
and let's get started. So ask questions in the comments. If you hop on late, someone who was here and heard all those instructions will repeat them and um, I will um, repeat them again at the end. So I'm still trying to find this video. Oh, oh, oh I just saw it. There I am. All right. I want to see your comments. All right, we got 73 people on. Hello, everyone. Lois, Marty, Sarah, Carlene, Marianne, Tatiana, Cindy, Monica, Andrea, Paula. Woo, Christina, so many of you on. I'm so excited. All right, let's get started. So these are items most from Dollar Tree. Uh, some from Michael's, some from Hobby Lobby, some from Target's Dollar Spot, okay? So I'm just going to go down the list, and I will also add this numbered list to the description box after the video is done. All right, so the first item in my stash, maybe you have one of these, is this bicycle wheel wreath form. I've had this for a while, haven't done anything with it. So if you want to see me do something with that, that is item number one. Wait to comment with your three items until the live video is done, okay? Otherwise, I won't be able to see your comments. All right, number two is this terrarium planter from Dollar Tree. I have a few of these. It is flat on the bottom, has a little hanger on the top, which is removable, by the way. It's got it's like screws on. Camera is blurry. Hmm. It's not blurry to me. Is it when you're trying to see the items? Terrarium planter is item number two. All right, item number three. I have a couple of these. This is the rectangle chalkboard from Dollar Tree. It's a wood frame, chalkboard in the middle. What? The other live was open? Was there a video there? Tell me. Uh, YouTube is being wonky for me today. I'm so sorry. So was it playing anything or was it just the cover page, the thumbnail? Let me know. Okay, so the rectangle is item number three. And, but was there a video playing, Christina? And then the house. Because it, it told me that my video never uploaded. So it was just the thumbnail. All right, this is item number four. If you want to see me use the house chalkboard. I'm so sorry. I promise I did not try to keep you hanging on for an hour. Did not know that was going to happen. So sorry. I'm so sorry. Please accept my apologies. I did not know that was going to happen. All right. Next would be item number five. Um, Dollar Tree carries this type of sign all the time. It's just a square wood box sign. Usually has like a raised piece in the middle. If you want to see me make something new with this, um, that is item number five. All right, item number six. This was from Target Dollar Spot. It's called Two Count Risers. They're round, and if you can see in there, they've got little legs. This one has shorter legs than this one. And, um, yeah, so these were from Target Dollar Spot. That is item number six. Put some down here. Item number seven is... One of these, uh, if you comment right now, I, okay, so someone that just commented, how did you know the numbers? Was the list on the other video? <laughs> this is so bizarre. I just have to laugh because otherwise I'll cry, right? All right, item number seven is this four section wood tray from Dollar Tree. Um, Okay, but comment after this video is done because otherwise it won't save the chat. Okay, Louise, thank you. All right, so you kind of already know, if you looked at that description box, you already know the list of what is going to be here. All right, this is item number eight. Is one of these decor boxes. Looks like a drawer with a little bracket. Yeah, Alisa, YouTube was being really weird for uploading tonight, so I apologize about that. Item number nine is the wood anchor sign. I just got this recently, but I just, I haven't done anything with it. So if you want to see me do something with this, you can choose item number nine for one of your items. Item number 10 is the arch window. 
Louise, you didn't do anything wrong. You commented already your um, your item numbers, but it's not going to save in this chat. You have to wait and comment after I'm done with the live video. And I will add the list onto this description. I just can't do it until after this live. All right, Arch Window is number 10. If anybody else comes on and asks questions about, you know, why, you know, things got messed up, if somebody else could comment in the chat for me, that would be amazing. So I don't keep repeating it for those of you that have already heard it. Number 11 is one of these bamboo cutting boards. I don't know if you've been able to find these at your Dollar Tree. I got a bunch of them like maybe a year and a half ago when they first came out and I haven't seen them for a while, but I'm starting to see them again. So if you maybe have some of these in your stash and want some ideas, that is item number 11. Item number 12 is this MDF in the shape of a cutting board. It's got a jute twine hanger and um, it looks great the way it is, but maybe you want to see other ideas for how to use this. That is number 12, no, yes, 12. All right, number 13 is a basic from Crafter Square, the square wood pallet sign with a little hanger on the back. So if you wanna see me craft with this, this is number 13. Number 14 is this metal hanging sign. It's got a little wood heart in the middle. I think I have at least two maybe three of these. So if you want to see me use this, this is number 14. Number 15 is, I've used these recently even, the wood rectangle um, palette. Okay, that is number 15. All right, we're about halfway done. 16 is this MDF love word sign. This is probably from Valentine's time, but I have a few of these. Yes, they also do have the plain ones. Yep, I've seen those. And those plain ones are a little bit bigger too, I think. Hey, Carmen. All right, love sign was 16. 17. This was also around Valentine's time. It's the MDF in a barn shape. And it looks like I already did remove the paper whatever the decoration and the sentiment was on the front. So if you want to see us do something fun with the barn, that is 17. Number 18, I was able to find a few more sets of these bamboo rings. Um, if you remember, it just happens to be right here. I don't know if you saw this video where I took the two small ones <coughs> and made this little plant hanger. Super fun. So if you want to see me do something else with that, Bamboo rings are number 18. Here's a, yeah, things are gonna fall. All right, number 19 is another little MDF sign. This one's in the shape of a jar. It's not metal at the top here, but it does have a little charm on it. it has a back uh, hinge thing. Um, and this is number 19. Yeah, things are gonna fall, that's okay. The next couple of things are from Christmas time, but these shape signs are available now. I, I know they are. This is just a tall, skinny, uh, you know, the MDF tag shape. That is number 20. And then 21 is the one they had this past Christmas with the, uh, the house shape. So this is 21. All right. <clears throat> So this is kind of a fun challenge. I haven't done this in a while, but you guys pick the items and then it makes me work really hard. Like, you know, like kind of like a cooking challenge, but it's a crafting challenge where I have to make something with the things that you pick out of my stash. All right, let's keep going. Number 22 is one of these circle garden stakes. These are in the stores right now. They have a hanger, they have a nice size circle and then they have a, a stake on them. So that is 22. 23, I still have quite a few of these and I've been seeing these come back in the store. Um, everybody else can hear me, right? Somebody just said they have no sound. Uh, wood frame and it's got the wood beads on the hanger. This is number 23. 
three. Um, I'm not sure, Vicki. Maybe. I'm choosing three comments, which means I'll have at least three projects. So maybe I would use stencils on one of them. Maybe if I, if you want me to use Magnolia stencils on the items that you're putting in your comment, put that in the comment, okay? And then if, if it's in the comment and your comment gets picked, then I have to use a stencil on it. All right, that was 23. 24, I still have quite a few sets of these um, foam dice. So maybe you have some of these, or I have been seeing them in the stores again. Or number 25, the DIY wood dice that so you get three in the package. If you wanna see me use these, this is 25. Um, 26. I have had these for a while and they're super cute. These little MDF cameras. It's a frame. You could pop out the back, put a picture in there. Really cute. This is 26. 27 is the wood two-sided truck. Um, there's, they have had ones with candle or, um, you know, battery powered, uh, candles in the middle. This has nothing. Um, you could take this apart and it's already coming apart right there and make two different projects with this. So that is number 27. 28. I still have plenty of these wood crates. So if you want to see me make something new with these, that's 28. Just a few more items here. Random things I just went through and picked out of my stash, a lot of stuff that I haven't used since I got it. These are number 29. These are mirror or wall stickers in the shapes of houses, different sizes, and um, that is number 29. Two more things. Number 30. I've got some sets yet of these salt and pepper shakers from Dollar Tree. I have used them before as little vases. Maybe we'd have to use them in a new way. And 31, I bought a few of these. These are out in the stores now. Um, so this would be 31, this beach jar with starfish. Okay. All right. So when the live video is done is when you want to comment. Don't do it in the chat because I won't be able to see it when the live is done. Choose your, <coughs> excuse me top three items. I've been talking for like three hours. Um, your top three items in a comment. You have 24 hours. Oh, somebody has a brilliant idea. <laughs> You're going to have to share that with me, Christina. Um, put that in a comment at 9 p.m. tomorrow night. I will choose three comments and then I will craft like crazy on Saturday, crafting with those items and be ready to share a video with you Sunday night. Okay. Does anybody have any other questions about how the craft your craft my stash challenge works? You guys are challenging me to make something with three items that is there. Yeah, I have to add that. I have to add the list after I finish the video. That's just a weird thing about lives, YouTubes. Apparently, the one I had set up started even though the video had not uploaded. So how does that happen? I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm excited too. I Like I said, I did this maybe a year and a half ago and it was super fun. It kind of, I don't wanna say I was in a funk, but um, it just made me think outside of my normal mode of crafting. And so I hope you guys don't stump me too bad because I do want, to be able to do this on Saturday to have a video for you on Sunday. So um, thanks so much. Yes, I will add the link or the description um, list of these 31 items. I'll probably just drag it over from the other video. Um, you will also be able to comment and I will also put in the description the link for the Mystery Hostess Magnolia Facebook class that starts tomorrow. So if you're wanting to be involved in that, check that out. Give me like five, 10 minutes to get this off and um, get the other stuff. I'm not sure about that question, Louise. What do you mean, which channel to use? 
to comment. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this. If you also have questions in the comments, you can you know put them there too. But for sure, tell me your top three items you wanna see me craft with this weekend. All right, thanks so much guys, bye.